Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel. I hope you are all doing good and keeping safe. Um, sorry I haven't been posting as much on this channel. This is because of life. I've been, I've been very busy with school and trying to find a job. I do explain this in my, proof, in my previous video entitled Life Update. So please check that out if you're curious. And if you're new here, welcome. We um, I do commentary on TV shows and movies and I would like it if you could subscribe and hit that bell no notification so you can stay up to date with my videos. Um, today is going to be very interesting because I'm going to redo a video I did badly a few months ago um, and I just thought to give it another go and yeah, today I'm going to talk about the most problematic show on the Disney Channel, yes, the Disney Channel, which is Jessie. Now a quick introduction to this, Jessie was a childhood staple of mine, it is Part of the reason of my humour I have today, Jesse raised me in ways I cannot understand. I thank the show for that. Also, these were some of the also these were also some of the shows I grew up with on Disney Channel. So as you can see, I grew up with the new Disney, which I guess ran from 2010 until 2015. The best years of my life were watching these shows, which is also Jesse's song. I believe that Jessie was one of Disney's successful shows, especially airing after old Disney classics such as The Sweet Life and Hannah Montana had come to an end. I'm actually surprised Disney didn't have merchandise for the show. I know that they had books from the show, but that's about it. That's honestly too bad. I wouldn't mind to have like dolls or some poses from the show or something. Disney missed an opportunity here, but oh well. Anyways, Jessie's one of my favourite TV shows and sitcoms of all time, however I have to address the huge issues I have with the show, and since there isn't much commentary on, on Jessie within YouTube, I thought I would give it a go again. So a quick synopsis, Jessie follows a 18 year old Texas girl named Jessie Prescott who moves from Texas to New York City in order to pursue her dreams of becoming an actress. However, things do not go her way as she is sidetracked and ends up becoming the nanny of these four sport rich kids of these two huge Hollywood movie directors. The kids' names are Luke, Emma, Zuri and Ravi. And here begins one of my huge problems with the show and that is the characters. First of all, we have Ravi Ross. Ravi is a sensible child of the Ross clan and tries to stay out of trouble, but ends up getting into it anyway due to his rotten siblings. However, at times he does get himself into trouble, at, you know, by himself. Ravi is full, full of racial, of racial stereotypes. First of all, he is of Indian descent and is made fun of because of his accent. And we even have characters like his brother Luke who even go as far as making fun of it, which is very upsetting to see. As a child, we may laugh at this, but as we grow up and are older, we have to start seeing the issues of this. I do not know why Disney or even the writers of the show thought it was funny to include this, because it isn't funny whatsoever. I feel like sometimes the writers of the show forget that children, especially children of colour, watch shows like this. So if, an India, so if a child of Indian descent watches this, how are they going to react? Instead of giving them actual good representation, it's presenting their culture and themselves as being a joke? And what if a non-child of colour watches this? Children do copy what they see on TV, so they might do this to their Indian classmates and feel like it's funny, which it isn't. I've also seen on TikTok people talking about how Ravi gave them a bad time in school because of how he was portrayed. Another example of when his culture is insulted is, it, is, in, is when in one episode, and I believe it is in season one, Ravi starts a new school with Luke and is wearing his, tri and is, and is wearing his traditional Indian clothing full of beautiful and vibrant colours. I think the episode is called Are You Smarter Than a Fifth Grader? So if you want to watch it, go ahead. But yeah, Luke looks at him and says he looks like a traffic cone. And Jesse, I don't think, says anything about it. And she's standing right there, which is extremely hurtful and insensitive. Children of Indian descent will probably watch this and feel embarrassed about their native clothes and may not want to wear them to things such as culture day where you get to fully express and where sorry where you get to uh, really express your love and passion of your culture and then he tries to fit in by getting rid of his ethnic clothes and wears basic white boy clothes disney what and i feel and i feel like this is also why people are so scared to really express their love for their culture because they don't really want to have it you know, being embarrassed and looked down upon, which is what Luke's doing here. 
Um, I just, I'm, 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 I'm also just upset about how weak they made Ravi. They made him weak athletically, made him have no friends, made him the butt of the jokes. When, when in real life, this will not happen. And again, it reinforces that negative stereotype. The writing behind this character is extremely awful, and the writers should be ashamed of themselves and try to do better. Next we have Zuri Ross. Zuri used to be one of my favourite characters from the show growing up, but now that I'm older and I've opened my eyes more, I can see that she was a truly awful character with despicable bad writing and deserved more. Zuri was a child that would get into cheeky misadventures and honestly, she was a walking, talking stereotype of angry and aggressive black woman, which was painful to see. The first two seasons of Jesse, Zuri was not that bad, but from season three to four, heading into Jesse's trash bin of bunked, she was such a bully. She would disrespect adults for no reason, she would bully her friends, her, her siblings and even her classmates as she was made out to be a gross girl because I remember there was just one episode from season from from the second season which is called uh, Some Bunnies in Trouble where it was stated where it was stated that that um, that Zuri had picked up a child by their nostrils just because she, just because that child lost her doll which was just very uh, disgusting. I don't know why the writers put that in the show and it really grossed me out and made me turn away from her character. I I I also just don't get at times when she would be ruthless, where she would be relentlessly sassy and rude, and even in bunk she would storm onto that camp, being the biggest bully ever. She even said to um um to to um, one of her camp friends Jorge in the uh, um, in um, um in in an episode of season two, um give, give me something along the lines of give me give me my money or you're not going home with kneecaps. What? I'm even surprised that she had friends there in the first place. She gets worse than bunked, but that is for another time, another video. However, I, however, she doesn't get any. However, she doesn't even get better in Jesse. She had the potential to be one of the most likable and nice characters from the show, but she just got progressively worse. Does her as number one children watch the show, and so it could be getting the wrong idea about black people and black women in general? And second, she was like me. She is from Uganda, Africa, and I'm from Nigeria, Africa. So to see a fellow kind of like sister of mine act like this was just horrendous. Also, someone made a great comment on another Jessie commentary video on YouTube, how she doesn't really associate herself with her African roots, which is honestly true. Like, I don't really see her kind of like um, appreciate or love her African culture, which is just very strange to see. She kind of like distances herself away from that, which is just not great. Um, this also brings me to, to my next point, which is the Jesse episode entitled Gotcha Day, which is in season one, I believe, where the Ross family is celebrating the day that Zoe got adopted by Morgan and Christina Ross, her adopted parents. Jesse had the task to bring memorabilia and items from home country Uganda, and she literally just brings in safari trees, lions, elephants, reinforcing that nasty stereotype of how Africa is just full of huts and wild animals when there is just so much more to see. There wasn't even anything from Uganda there. It was just stereotyped items. It was just very not good. Again, stereotypes. And Africa is such a huge problem in this show and Disney in general, but that's for another time. Because they did this again in season four, where um when the Ross kids went there to try and get Jesse back because she went there to find Brooks, her ex boyfriend. First of all, they would first of all they did not say where in Africa they are. And second, again, they're just reinforcing that negative stereotypes of of, 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 of villages, huts, animals, no actual culture. Overall, Zuri is one of the worst characters in television history and, and in Disney Channel history as well. I really don't get the obsession with the angry black woman trope in the 2010s and it's just a, and it's just a huge letdown. Next up, we have Luke Ross. First of all, I wanted to say rest in peace and my condolences to Cameron Boyce and his family. Well, Cam well Cameron Boyce especially, who played Luke. He was a huge part of my childhood. I'll never forget him. And I still can't believe that he's gone to this day. I hope he's resting easy. His character, Luke, however, was a huge problem to the show. Firstly, as mentioned when I was talking about Ravi, I did not like how insensitive Luke was to his culture. I found it to be very insulting and very off-putting. It just reminds me of that white boy in school that would just have the most nastiest to say about people's ethnic backgrounds. I mean, deep racial jokes to come across as funny. Also, I just didn't like the way he kept flirting with Jesse. I guess when I was younger, to me, it was hilarious because I didn't know the severity of the situation. However, older now, and it was just very, and, 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 and it was just very creepy. He took pictures of Jesse on the beach, read her diary, and had cameras on her. 
I also think him and Creepy Connie, another character on the show who's very problematic, but that's for another video, were actually made for each other because they were just so weird and stalkery. He was so weird and was constantly being a bully, like Zuri, to his siblings, especially to Ravi as well, I've mentioned that before. And, and in school, he only, cared, he, he only cared about popularity and didn't really try his best to do well in school. Never had an episode of him trying to show to everyone that he can actually get a good, decent grade. And that's pretty much all, all I have to say about Luke. He's still a funny character. He has his moments, but he still has huge faults that are just awful. Um, yeah. Next, we have Emma Ross. Emma was the oldest of the siblings. The thing is with Emma is that she claims that she was the nice one when actually she wasn't because, because she was always really, really nasty and bitchy in some of the episodes. I just didn't really like her character. I thought she was kind of very superficial and very unlikable. I couldn't really see myself being friends with her. Like, she did have nice moments, but she just really came across as really nasty. You know, the, you know yeah, the girl that everyone says that's nice but isn't really. It's, it's strange because on Bunk, she's way nicer and more aware where I'm, um, I'm responsible, which is good to see. And I feel like she was the only character from the original show that that progressed well and bunked. Bunked is also a Jesse spin-off as well, but it's, I was, yeah, which is so strange to see. But again, I'll, I'll explain that in future. But overall, Emma was just very not the best character. She was just very rude, very mean, very the mean girl. She wasn't nice. Next, we have Jesse Prescott. Jesse was a kid's nanny. Honestly, Jessie at times deserved way better, and at other times she was very irresponsible herself. I really feel like she she should have actually quit her job because the kids really didn't didn't respect her. She was nearly going to quit in in the Jessie episode, GI Jessie, which is in season two, which I which is also one of the most memorable episodes from my childhood and also from the show. Basically, um, the Jessie takes the kids to visit her father who is in the military. She tells the kids to behave and surprise, surprise, they don't and end up causing a huge rift between her father and her new family. They end up apologizing and she sends up I, I, and she ends up going back to them, which I was kind of like, what? The, uh, you know, um, the apology from the kids didn't even mean anything as they do the same thing in various episodes. They would do something stupid or silly, say sorry to Jesse and then forgiven. And they do it again in the next episode. It was just a really horrible and, and toxic cycle. Also, whenever something went wrong, they would always try and blame Jesse. She tried her best to handle the kids, but they didn't deserve her. And honestly, I don't feel like she was the best nanny ever. Well, obviously she didn't really come to New York City for that reason, but still. Um, I was happy that she got her dream in the final episode, which she had arrived to New York City in the first place for. Also, a side note, I just don't get why Jessie is not referenced in Bunked whatsoever. You would think that she should, that she would be referenced at least once, since she was a huge part of the Ross's children's life for what, four years? Anyways, she wasn't the best character, but she got the most laughs out of me. I feel like she'd be total besties with Michelle Hathaway from The Haunted Hathaways. They're both so funny and iconic, but Michelle is way better. And yeah. Anyone remember The Haunted Hathaways? <laughs> Great show. Anyways, next we have Bertram Winkle, who is the, yeah, who's the last character on this list. I'm just talking about the main characters. Bertram is the butler of the Force Board um, rich kids. He is a very sensible character, kind of Dara-esque, who makes depressing remarks about his life and it's just monotone and sad um, because of the job he has. I feel bad for Bertram. He had to take care of those kids even before Jesse came onto the scene. Like Jesse, the kids took Bertram for granted and he even quit in one episode, but the kids apologized and he came back. Although I might add, instead of reflecting the their, their spoiled, disgusting ways and how badly they treated Bertram, they don't hesitate to quickly um, re replace him with a stranger. By the way, the Ross family are just so stupid. They just let strangers in all the time. And at one point, they nearly got robbed had, had it not been for Jesse. This is just Ross family slander at this point. Lol. <laughs> I guess that their apology was not... Um, I, I guess that their apology was better than the one that they gave Jesse. But still, it wasn't enough. Bertram was a great character, though. Just deserved better. I wish instead of Bunks, we got a Bertram slash Mr. Mosby spin-off. That would have been amazing. Um, overall, Jesse overall is such a strange and highly problematic show that would not fly well today. However, it did give me the very best of my childhood, so I do think the show for the laughs needs a better writing and yeah, it just needs a lot of things to change with that. Also, I've been watching a lot of Bonks on Disney Plus lately, so 
Um, so um, if you're watching, should I do a video on that? I would love to, given the fact that I watched a whole bunch of episodes. Um, it's weird. Bunked is my comfort show. I really hate it, but I watch it a lot as soon as I open the Disney Plus app. Um, Emma does get a lot better on this show. I'm um, the two Ravi and Zuri do not. I feel like Bunk should have just been Emma's show, but more on that on my hopeful Bunk video essay or just video in general. Um, I I do the video when I finish the first three seasons. I'm on season three, so luckily I'm nearly there. Since those are the Ross family seasons of the show, and, and I will explain more of that on my Bunk video. Do you want me to, to do a Bunk video? Leave down below. And yes, um, so I really hope you enjoyed my, my kind of take on Jesse. Um, this was a fun video to do, and uh, yes, it was very fun. Hopefully you liked it. Leave down below your thoughts and comments, and don't forget to like, um, subscribe, and hit that bell notification so you can stay updated um, when I post a new video. I love and appreciate you all so much, and yes, have a good day. I'll speak to you in the next video. Bye for now.